I am a third generation shorthorn breeder. My grandfather had a multifaceted livestock corn row crop operation, just like a lot of people did back then. Then my dad and my uncle started showing some shorthorns, and it seemed to be the breed at that time that they had the most luck with. As they got out of college and got done, they came back. That's kind of when it really took off. Back then it was more cow-calf, less show cattle, whereas right now we do a lot more embryo work and IVF work and focus more on the show cattle part. I attribute our success mainly to just we've never been satisfied. We try to make small improvements every year, and I always say the day you stop learning is the day you stop getting better. I've always been a question asker because there's always people out there that know things that you don't. I was brought into shorns. It was an easy breed to like. A lot of it's the people. Our industry has a, a family feel. I would say the majority of the farms are much like ours. They're farmers and they raise cattle and they'd spend time with their family. Also, the cattle are easy going. The maternal ability of the cattle is the driving point. They're docile, they're easy to work with, but there's a lot of attributes that made me stick with the shorthorns. We have really focused on udder quality, feet and legs and structural correctness. That has allowed us to always stay somewhat relevant, but also have some longevity to our cows things that'll keep you in business for the long haul. One reason to show shorns right now, especially if they have a young kid, are the attitudes on the cattle. As a whole, they are gentle cattle that genuinely like attention and affection from humans. It's a breed that you can get into pretty quick and compete without having to maybe spend quite as much money or have as many years under your belt. The Shore and Breed is such a family-friendly, junior-driven business. We're sending the right message when we feel like we can send our kids in there and they're going to get a shot. And I don't know that there's any breed right now where a young kid or a junior has um, more of an equal playing field than they do within the Shore and Breed. I feel like the American Shore and Association definitely has stayed with the time, stayed up with each and every breed. But you just have to have leadership at the top that people can rely on, people can trust. And I feel like our breed has done a good job putting people in place that has helped our breed stay successful. I mean, I feel very fortunate. I'm excited to go to work every day. And a lot of people don't have that luxury. That sometimes you have to have a reality check and just appreciate what God has given you and the opportunities that he's laid before you.